guys, how are you doing? Joe Barnes here and welcome to day two of iFrame Week. Um, I hope you're excited about this as I am. And uh, and how did you find yesterday? Did you get a page live on the web? If you did, please do make sure you get over to the uh, fan page and share the URL so we can all see it. Um, or are you just really psyched about WordPress? Because I'm pretty psyched about WordPress. Today, over the next three videos, what I'm going to go through with you is in video one, the video you're watching now, we're actually going to go through how to get a WordPress blog live. So if you have not even got a WordPress blog live yet, then that is what we're about to do. If you are somebody who's already done that, you're, you're absolutely fine with that. Yep, Joe, that's good then you move on to video two, okay? On video two and three, we are gonna show you how to edit a page, how to get it live, how to get it ready in order to be integrated um, into Facebook using an iframe tomorrow, very exciting. Um, so, and also video two and video three, we have a very big surprise for you and a special guest, which is very, very exciting. Um, so all of that is coming today. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack on with video one, where I am going to talk you through exactly how to get a blog live, okay? Okay then, guys. So, first things first, in order to be able to get a WordPress blog live, yeah, you do need a hosting company and a domain name. So, if you do not yet know where to get your hosting company from or your domain name or anything like that, then please go back and watch my videos yesterday. Watch videos one and videos two at the very least yesterday where I talked to you about both the hosting company and the domain name and then come back to where we are now. If you've already done that, you listened, you registered, you're ready to go, then by now what you'll have is your domain name that you want to use you will have a hosting company, you will have had an email with your name servers and you may already be one step ahead and have actually gone and changed your name servers but if you haven't then that's what I'd like to go and do now. So let's go into our domain registrar. I'm using 123reg as you guys know. Um, you may well have GoDaddy or Namesco or Namescheap or whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go and pick a domain name. I've got lots and lots of domain names. You may well only have one domain name or a couple of domain names that you chose. So I'm going to go and pick a domain name that I'm hoping I haven't used. I've used lots of these as tests and things like that. So I'm going to go and choose this one, Joe Barnes Facebook TV .com. I don't think I've done anything with that one yet. And I'm going to click on this little manage button here. Now, all I do want to say to you, obviously, is that each domain registrar backend is going to be slightly different. So just bear with me with what I'm doing with 123reg. It might be slightly different, but in essence, all of the controls should be roughly the same. Now, one thing that 123reg does is they lock these domains, so you can't actually go in and do anything until you've unlocked them. Now, again, I don't know whether that's unique to 123reg or that whether that is across all of these sites, but... Um, for this one, here we go. We're just going to basically go into manage domain locking. Okay, I'm going to click on that and it's telling me it's locked. So I'm going to go and unlock the domain. It's very simple. You just literally, you know, press the buttons that, that they tell you to press and, and job done. So as I say, it might be unique to one, two, three. You may well have domain locking. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's just, it depends on your back, on the back end of your, it sounds rude when I say that, doesn't it? it depends on your back end. Um, well, <laughs> it depends on the, the admin panels within your red, your domain registrar. Okay, so the one that we are looking for though, that, that all domain registrars are going to have is change name servers, okay? Or add name servers or amend name servers or however they put it. So we're going to click on change name servers. All right. Now, your name servers are personal to you and your hosting company. So they're not something you want to get out there and, and band about to everybody. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause this video in a second while I go and put the name servers in there. And I would urge you to do the same. So you will have had name servers sent you in your email, starting with NS. So at the moment, what I'd like you to do is, if you're following along, then go in and change your two name servers. You'd have got two name servers, so go in and replace your current name servers with the brand new name servers, okay? Now, when I'm going to pause and do that, and then I'm going to click Change Name Servers, and it's just going to confirm that in your domain registrar, and then when we come back, I'm going to be over at the Hosting Control Panel, 
okay so put in your name servers click change or amend your name servers the your domain registrar will confirm that and that's all you need to do at the moment within your domain registration place all right everything else we need to do is all within our hosting control panel so that's where we're going next all right so here we are within our host gator control panel and hopefully you would have changed your name servers and pointed your domain at your hosting account now as far as setting your domain name up within your hosting account um, then you will have received all the instructions on how to do that in your email and uh, you should have done that by now so your domain is all set up and live within your um, hosting company okay I'm not we're not going to talk through that now um, because you know you will have it depend what hosting company you're on and exactly the instructions they give you to set it up so for the purposes of today's video I'm just going to presume that you've done that and you've set your domain up with your hosting company and you are all ready to go um, and I would urge you as well, if you, on yesterday's video, I was talking about having a look at Create Your First Website by 345. Chris does cover setting up your hosting company within that um, book. So do just go and have a read through that and double check that, uh, that you've got everything set up um, correctly. All right. Now, there is, there's lots of ways that you can add domains um, and all that sort of stuff, which I would love to go through with you now, but we just it, it does start to get a little bit complex. Um, I do go through it in a lot more detail on the Social Networking Academy site. OK, so there are videos within the site where I really do. I talk you through how to add more domains onto your system and how to uh, how to set up new domains and everything um, within your hosting company okay um, but as I say on this particular video I don't want to get too complex so I'm going to leave it as presuming that you've got everything set up and ready to go and your domain is all registered within your hosting company so once in your hosting control panel what we are looking for is this little fella here this lovely little smiley face here, Mr. Fantastico or Mr. Fantastico Deluxe. Yeah. And you're going to click on Mr. Fantastico. And let's go in and see what Mr. Fantastico can do for us. To be honest with you, I was absolutely blown away when I realized actually how easy it was to upload WordPress onto my hosting company the first time I did it. So I'm hoping you are going to be equally impressed. I'm just going to pause this while it loads. It's just taking its time to load, unfortunately. All right, so here we are in Fantastico. Okay, and just go over here to the left-hand side and click on WordPress. Okay, we're going to go into Word, and here we are now in WordPress. Now, I've got a few um, sites here, uh, which I use as test sites and things like that. Um, so you may not have all of that, of course, if you're just starting out, then you may just have a blank screen and this new installation button, which is what we want to click. So click on new installation and that's going to take us through to the part where we install WordPress. Now, this again is very, very simple. Here is your domain. OK, now, because I've got quite a few domains and I've installed the domains and stuff on my hosting site, um, then that does mean that I'm going to click this drop down box here and start going through and pick a domain that I want to use. For you, though, you may just have the one domain that you have registered with your hosting site and that's going to pop up there and boom, Bob's your uncle. All right. So basically what we want to do then is go and pick the domain that we're using. So as I say, for you, it might just be the one domain for me. I'm just going to go down here. I added Joe Barnes Facebook TV .com, So that's the domain I'm going to use. Don't worry about the directory for um, the purpose of today's video. Just want to, we want our main domain in there. And then all we need is our admin username and our admin password yeah in order to get into once again I'm using that word back end in order to get into the back end of WordPress yeah um, I'm not worried about an admin nickname I do want my email address there though and we want a site name now to be honest with you for what we're doing the site name isn't um, you know important to be honest with you for what we're doing today the site name is not important so I'm just going to call it iframes test site for now okay so all we've got is our domain that we want to install our WordPress blog on a username a password our email address and our site name which as I said is not that important moment. but if you do go and set up another blog or something like that and you want to call it something then that is where you'd actually put in the name of it in there and then you simply click install WordPress 
and it comes up and it says the access URL is going to be this, joebarnesfacebooktv.com, and you click finish installation, and basically, guys, that is it. That is how difficult it is to upload WordPress to your hosting company, um, which I think is pretty easy. So it's just installing that now. There we go. Boom. So there it is. So if I now actually open this up and type in www.joebarnesfacebooktv.com, which was the URL that we installed it on, the domain we installed it on, then boom, there is our blog. There it is. iFrames test site, hello world, welcome to WordPress, this is your first post. Edit or delete. So there we go, there it is. So I hope that you are sitting there at the moment with this staring back at you. You followed along and you managed to do it and, and here we are. Um, what we're now going to do in the next two videos is I'm going to show you how to configure this, turn it into a page which we can actually get live and then integrate it with our Facebook using an iframe in tomorrow's video. So um, do tune in now to video two. Um, we've also got a surprise for you and a special guest coming on. So it's very exciting. So I will see you in video two. And before I go, if you are sitting in front of this and you have just done this, congratulations. Good for you getting that up and running. That's absolutely fantastic. I felt really, really chuffed with myself the first time I got my blog live. So there we go, guys. I will see you in video two.